in the this session for the next uh, 25 minutes or so we'll be talking about the state of Shopify theme development so looking at different workflows which are available for theme developers uh, recent features which have been released for themes and our vision as well for the future so just a quick introduction on myself uh, my name is Liam I'm a developer advocate at Shopify I've been with Shopify for about seven years now so in that time I've been creating a lot of content uh, for developers looking to learn how to build on top of Shopify uh, I've been creating a lot of uh, YouTube videos uh, blog posts and of course being able to be uh, here uh, have this is my first time visiting Australia so it's extremely exciting for me and uh, yeah um, it's yeah amazing connecting with our developer community uh, so yeah over the next two days uh, please do uh, grab me for a chat would love to, to connect so uh, for this session uh, this is going to be the plan for our journey uh, first we're going to look at where we are right now then we're going to look at where we are going and finally we're going to look at how we will get there and then we should have some time for a Q&A towards the end so to answer the question where are we right now we need to take a slight step back into the past back to summer of 2021 and Shopify Unite which was a milestone event for theme developers we had the launch of online store 2.0 which enabled sections on all pages we had uh, meta fields natively launched for uh, themes which allowed us to have much more flexibility and personalization on different pages we saw the relationship of apps and themes become much more uh, closely combined with theme app extensions uh, we had of course our vision for custom storefronts for hydrogen and last but not least we also had the reopening of the theme store after the hiatus for a while and in the months since then we've been able to progressively enhance many of these features so we've um, improved with the uh, limitations that we had on sections and blocks by uh, making more sections and more blocks available on pages we have more uh, dynamic sections available on more pages uh, for enhancing meta fields uh, we also made the developer experience of working with theme app extensions uh, much much better as well so all this to say is themes are much more powerful more adaptable and more valuable to merchants than ever before so just to look more generally at the ecosystem uh, in general we see you know quite strong and steady growth we're seeing millions of merchants are looking to improve their store looking to customize their online experience and their buying experience for their customers we firmly believe there's a great opportunity here for developers looking to enter this space if we look across to the app store in particular last year we saw that 400 million was paid out to our app developers which is increase of over 80 percent from the previous year and of course we reduced our revenue share uh, so um, merchants who earn uh, up to their first million uh, dollars uh, don't need to pay Shopify any revenue share and that also transfers across to the theme store too so theme developers are able to avail of that too so we don't uh, yet have comparable figures for the theme store um, but we are seeing that there is quite strong uh, growth here too um, we've increased the number of themes published on the theme store and uh, something that we're quite proud of uh, today we actually had our 100th theme launched uh, today which is a really uh, proud milestone that we have um, but I think what's more important than the numbers themselves is that even with the you know increasing of themes on the theme store we're seeing the quality bar uh, being met and exceeded uh, we've you know very very high standards on the theme store for themes that are launched uh, so that merchants can be uh, very very confident that the themes that are available are the best that they will have and um, you know this is uh, something we're, you know, we're seeing quite a lot of one great example of this is the shapes theme uh, which is uh, built by switch I think uh, William is is here so big shout out to William uh, who's based in Australia 
but we really see themes like shapes as uh, part of the new generation of Shopify themes, which are really pushing the limits of Liquid, push, pushing the limits of Shopify. And you, know, you can see here, very vibrant color scheme, um, but underneath the surface, you, it's a very, very feature-rich theme, extremely flexible, very customizable, and allows merchants to, to personalize their, their visual identity of their storefront. So this strong combination of adaptability and opinionated design really allows merchants to uh, have uh, quite uh, amazing storefronts. So big shout out to, to Switch. So now we know where we are. Let's talk about where we're going. So Summer Editions launched earlier this year in June, and there was many questions around uh, some of the, the features. One in particular got a lot of attention, Hydrogen. And many developers were wondering if Hydrogen represented uh, the way that Shopify wants developers to build storefronts. People were asking, is Hydrogen going to replace Liquid? And today I want to address that concern. So the TLDR is, is no, and you know, we're very, very heavily invested in Liquid. Uh, Liquid, uh, as our CTO Alan says, is a key technology that allows merchants to customize Shopify themes. We are invested in Liquid, adding features, and making rendering super fast. So I think to really understand uh, Liquid and Hydrogen, it's really helpful to think about the use cases of both technologies. So Shopify has always and will always be bringing storefronts to where customers are, whether that's on the web, whether that's mobile, whether that's social media, even video games. And headless e-commerce allows merchants much more flexibility in terms of the control that they have over the tech stack, how URLs are structured, and uh, Scott, who will be up after me, is going to dive uh, much deeper into uh, hydrogen and explore all of the features, so definitely do stick around for his talk. Um, but we do recognize that this particular uh, use case where merchants need a very uh, you know, um, flexible uh, you know, infrastructure, they may need to integrate with particular software, um, we want to make this possible for them too. So this is our vision for Hydrogen, where we want to be able to allow merchants to reap the benefits of Shopify's backend and all of the, you know, the great features, but also to be able to have full control over their storefront. So this is you know, where we see Hydrogen and Oxygen fitting in. This does, however, come with some costs. You, know, you may need uh, to work with developers, you may need to have agencies on board, uh, so merchants, when they're looking at this as an option, uh, need to be you know, aware of the, the implications and the upfront investment that might be required. So we see Liquid as the more accessible solution for the majority of merchants, particularly merchants who are in the more early stages of their journey with Shopify. And we also find that uh, Merchants uh, may not always be very concerned over the tech stack that's being used. Um, they're not always very technical, so having options that are very configurable right out of the box uh, is a really attractive uh, opportunity for them. You can also go quite far with Liquid and HTML and CSS, as you saw with, uh, with Shapes. Also, in the keynote today, you saw Athens, and Bullet, these are great themes. Would really recommend checking out the theme store if you haven't looked at it recently to see the, uh, the new generation of themes that are really pushing the limits here. Also, we have a thriving ecosystem of developers building both for the theme store and building custom stores or custom themes as well. So this is something we want to invest in further. I'll leave Toby, our CEO, with the, the last word on this and when he says that Liquid Storefronts are Shopify's love letter to the web platform. We really believe Liquid is here to stay and the web is truly our North Star. This is nowhere clearer than in Dawn, which is uh, you know, able to showcase our understanding of the web as a platform. So Dawn represents a HTML first, JavaScript only as is needed approach to theme development. 
It's Shopify's first source available theme with performance and flexible and accessibility at the forefront with all of the great features of Online Store 2.0 built into it. So well now we know where we're going, let's talk about how we're going to get there. So I don't have enough time to go into all of the details and all of the announcements from Shopify editions, but I'm going to just highlight a few which are of specific relevance to theme developers. So we had a update to the Shopify CLI. We had uh, we launched the Prettier plugin for Liquid, which uh, is built into the extension for VS Code. Uh, we uh, streamlined and updated our Liquid documentation. Uh, we made uh, improvements to the merchant experience of working with themes too, uh, by streamlining uh, the update process. So uh, now when a merchant wants to apply a new version, uh, it removes a lot of the manual work that they needed to do. And there's also faster installation, duplication of themes. I mentioned our Liquid documentation. Uh, this is something we're really excited about. Um, it allows us to have much more uh, interactivity on our docs. Uh, so you can see here, uh, you're able to enter in any Liquid objects and see uh, genuine output is being appearing. Uh, so this is particularly helpful if you're learning Liquid for the first time. Uh, you're able to experiment and test out uh, different variables, different filters, uh, different tags, all within the docs themselves. So it's almost like having a Shopify store engine running within the docs. You can, you can learn here, test it out. No need to go to a development store to test out uh, what you're learning. Of course, uh, we have a dark mode as well, which is, I don't need to explain how important that is. And you might have noticed too, over the last few days, a nice Easter egg in our documentation. We've uh, updated some of the pixel art to give it a Halloween theme. So uh, make sure you check that out on Shopify.dev. Uh, one thing I want did want to touch on as well is Shopify's GitHub integration. I know a lot of developers use this already, but I just wanted to highlight some of the benefits again. Uh, and essentially, this allows us to have a two-way synchronization for our a GitHub uh, repos branch that's linked to a Shopify store. So any change that you make to the branch, if you merge in changes, those changes will be populated across to a linked Shopify store. And uh, this allows us to have much more uh, of a robust uh, workflow, uh, make sure that you're not overriding changes, for example. Also, uh, you can take this one step further you can implement different CI workflows uh, that will allow you to perform things like lighthouse checks and theme checks. So you can analyze the performance of your theme. You can also analyze your theme for any liquid or HTML errors that could be contained within it. And both of these use cases are also documented in Shopify.dev. This also allows you to use uh, techniques like Git flow uh, that allows you to have more advanced branching models so that you can have a very robust format for when you're developing, previewing, and releasing changes. Uh, again, this just you know, allows you to have a more robust workflow, uh, ensure that you're not uh, overriding changes. We really want uh, development to be as easy and as fun as possible, uh, which is why we've uh, created and launched our Liquid extension for VS Code. Uh, we focused on VS Code because we found it was the most popular IDE with theme developers, so we've invested in this area. And some of the features of our uh, extension uh, are syntax highlighting. I know if you're spending long hours looking at code, anything that can make it a little bit easier in the eyes is going to be very welcome. We also have a lot of uh, shortcuts which are available like automatic indentation, code completion, code navigation. And I mentioned uh, theme check as well, that audits your code. So this is bundled within the Liquid extension as well. So you're able to lint your code, uh, find any change, any errors that could be uh, highlighted all within the editor. And also we have the, the Prettier plugin for Liquid, which is currently in developer preview, but uh, so it does require a little bit of manual setup, 
uh, once it's set up, it will allow you to have more opinionated code formatting. Uh, one update that we launched a few weeks ago allowed us to, or will allow developers to uh, format uh, JSON correctly within liquid files. So anyone who's spent time working with sections and creating settings within sections will definitely find that very helpful. So as you can see, we're continuously looking to ship improvements in all areas. And uh, there is one more thing I wanted to touch on, and that is around uh, content and how content can be managed and will be managed on Shopify. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways that you can already create and edit and manage content within Shopify. You can create blog posts, you can create static pages, you can add content to sections within the theme editor, um, but we do see a better way forward to manage content throughout the entire platform so that it can be centrally managed but available everywhere. So that's why we are announcing the Shopify content platform, which is currently in beta and will be available for stores on the advanced and plus plans. So what the content platform will allow you to do is you'll be able to define specific content models using the fields that you might already be familiar with, with meta fields. So think about things like integers, single and multi-line text fields, ratings, references to different resources. And you'll be able to create entries for each of your models that you're creating. Uh, you'll be able to uh, assign different states. So a model could be a, in a draft preview and then finally published. Uh, you can also then reference these content entries in the meta fields. So this will all be possible within the Shopify admin without the help of any custom apps or any, you know, it'll be a native feature for both advanced and plus merchants. And we see a lot of potential for the different models that could be used. So think about things like temporary promotional banners that could be turned on and off global reusable components like FAQs that could appear in different parts of a store. Um, there's a lot of potential here and that's why we want to involve our developer community who will be able to really push this to the limits, um, explain how they may use them. We really want to know about your use cases here. So as I mentioned, uh, you'll be able to create these different models and entries. We also want to um, allow you to publish to both Hydrogen and stores running on uh, the just regular uh, liquid storefronts. So we want to see, you know, as much as we can, have feature parity between both approaches. As I mentioned, beta is available today, and we really want you to join in the discussion. So please uh, scan this QR code, take a picture. Uh, you'll be able to uh, find a form here where you'll be able to apply for the beta. So just leave this up for a moment. Good. So we're very, very excited to see how uh, developers will also interpret this. So as you can see, we're shipping changes and improvements across many different areas. So where does this leave us? If you only take a few things away from this talk, hopefully it is these messages. The tooling that is available for Shopify developers is better than ever before and will continue to improve. If you are familiar or have worked with themes for the last few years, you may remember uh, we had frameworks like Slate, we had tools like ThemeKit, um, which allowed us to get to a, a certain uh, level of uh, development. Um, but the tools that are we are you know, available now that we're improving will really get you so much further. We see as well that the theme store and the theme ecosystem is growing. We really want to invite you to, to contribute and participate in this space. We really also want getting started with theme development to be as fun and as easy as possible. This is why we are investing in our IDE extensions. This is why we are investing in the CLI and also in, in the revamping of our developer documentation. So it's really never been a better time to be working with themes. 
So the journey doesn't need to end here. There are some more opportunities to uh, get some hands-on experience uh, over the next two days. Uh, later on today, there is a great workshop on how to um, improve your store performance, so being able to audit and analyze uh, performance. Uh, also tomorrow, we have a great workshop on Metafields, which brings in some aspects of the online store as well. That is at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, so yeah, these are great opportunities to, to get more hands on time. So we'll have a little bit of time now for uh, some questions. Um, but just before we start that, I want to show you how you can follow up uh, if you want to. My uh, Twitter and email address is here. Uh, also, again, reiterate, you know, the workshops are available. We also have office hours that you can join to learn more from our Themes review team. And of course, as always, our source of truth for all things theme development is Shopify.dev. And again, uh, you may have seen this uh, QR code before. Uh, we really want to get as much feedback from uh, all our attendees here today, find out more about what kind of content you'd like to see, and get your impressions uh, through the, the short survey here. So with that, uh, I'd like to open it up for some questions. and. Uh, and thanks for your attention so far.